Let's have a look at uh, the address resolution protocol in Linux. So we have three Linux machines set up, a client, router and server, all inside VirtualBox. And the client and router on one LAN and the router and the server on a second LAN, net A and net B. And the address is uh, 192.168.1.0 for net A, 192.168.2.0 for net B. Dot 11 for client, dot 22 for server, and 1.1 and 2.2 for the routing interfaces. When a uh, machine wants to talk to another machine on the uh, same LAN, assuming it knows the destination IP address, for example, client wants to talk to router with address 192.168.1.1, then it needs to know its corresponding MAC or hardware address and address resolution protocol is the mechanism for discovering that MAC or hardware address. In the basic approach, a client, when it knows the destination IP address, it broadcasts a message on the LAN saying who has this IP address and the router will receive it and the router has that IP address 1.1 and will send back a response saying I have this IP address and my MAC address is this value. The purpose here isn't to explain how the protocol works, but just to see how the command can be utilized in Linux to see some information about what's happening in the background. Essentially, the protocol runs in the background on each machine. In the Linux command line, if we go to our client, we have a command called ARP, which shows us the current mappings that this machine knows about. I'll use the minus N option to show the raw or numeric values, not the uh, host names or domain names. So from the client's perspective, it currently has an ARP table with two entries. There's two rows. And what it tells us is that the client currently knows that the IP address 192.168.1.1 has this hardware or MAC address, this 08 address. And that's known because it's learned in the past. So ARP is working in the background to update this table. On the Linux command line, we often just use this table to see the current values. And my client knows to use interface ENP0S8 to contact 192.168.1.1. To contact 10.0.2.2, .2, it will send to this other hardware address via the S3 interface, which actually corresponds to sending the VirtualBox router to send out to the internet. So the ARP command shows us the current uh, values that it knows about. If I communicate with another node, 192.168.2.22, the server, and I ping and I stop that, I just send three pings, say communicated, and now look at my ARP table. Then in this case, there's nothing different because 192.168.2.22 is on a different subnet. So in order to communicate with the server, the client actually still sends to the router. So therefore, to send to 192.168.2.22, the client must send to 192.168.1.1, and he already knows that MAC address. So the point here is that the ARP table, ARP is local to the LAN. Communicating with nodes outside of that LAN, ARP uh, doesn't have a role in, that's part of routing. And our routing table tells us if I want to reach 192.168.2. something like the server, I would need to send to 192.168.1.1, and I already know the hardware address of 192.168.1.1 to send to. So ARP is used inside the local LAN. Uh, we can manipulate the ARP uh, table. Normally we would not, we would just view it. You can, if you look at the man page, you can see that there's a number of different options and one of them, the minus D option, is to delete an entry from the ARP table. And note it requires uh, privileges to do that. 
And you can also set up a new entry manually using the minus S option. But in most cases, ARP will uh, do this in the background for us. We can do delete. We need sudo to get an administrative rights. And by us manually deleting, now the table, it's aware of some 192.168.1.1, but it doesn't know the hardware address. If I now ping 192.168.2.22, I still communicate and look at the ARP table. When I tried to contact some other node on another LAN, the routing table told me or told my client to send to a router or gateway 192.168.1.1. Previously, my client didn't know the hardware address of that corresponding IP address, so ARP works in the background to discover that hardware address, and then it was discovered, and that allowed my client to send to the router, which then forwarded it on to the server. So ARP allows us to view the routing table and also, in some cases, manipulate that routing table.